Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Talo Falava. My name is Papali Mona Lisa Tiaiketi, and I'm honored to be your MC for tonight's event. Before we commence, some, house, some quick housekeeping for the benefit of our guests. Bathrooms are located behind the reception outside. There are no bathrooms located in this room. Smoking is not permitted in this venue. Anyone wishing to smoke can do so outside our premises. Each table has been provided with a number of bottles of wines for your enjoyment with soft drink and water provided for this event. All other alcoholic drinks can be ordered from the bar at the rear corner of this room at your own expense. Dinner will be table service. Please advise the wait staff if you have any dietary requirements. In case of, the fi of a fire, our officer commissioner, Tanwasa Petone Monga, who's sitting at table four, will guide us tonight. You shall all receive a small gift from the Pacific faculty, which are just a small token for you all to remember the importance of taking care of yourself so that you can take care of the communities we serve. Now that we are all ready, let us begin. O te mua e fatalo fatui la sunga le taita e o le sauninga pasta a le si unoi a fio la o fio nga le te maita e palimia sa fa pito la o fio nga fio me na o mimta afa le mama no le vala aulia pasta a le si unoi prime minister of Samoa honourable fio me na o mimta afa. Minister of Police, the Honorable Fawalo Harry Schuster, Your Excellency Emily Clark, Your Excellency Trevor Mathinson, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to provide a warm welcome to the 22nd Annual Australian Australasian Council of Women in Policing Awards event here at Taumiasina Resort. We hope that we will provide you with a night to remember, a combination of our Samoan culture, leadership discussion, and a main awards event, which will be live streamed from Brisbane, Australia. So who is the Australasian Council of Women and Policing, affectionately known as the ACWEP? ACWEP has been participating in the global network of women in policing since it was established in 1997. It consists of women and men within law enforcement agencies and the community who work together to improve the opportunities and services provided to women within our communities. Each year, ACWAM presents a number of awards for excellence in law enforcement. The Awards for Excellence in Policing are an opportunity to publicly acknowledge and reward the achievements of women and men who are contributing to improving policing and law enforcement and ensuring policing services are enhanced for women. This year, there is a significant focus on improving the well-being, health and wellness of our colleagues in policing across the Pacific. Before we move on, I must acknowledge the date of this year's awards. Today, the 25th of November, is significant as this is the day we celebrate the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. In times of crisis, the numbers rise, as seen during the COVID pandemic. Police play Police staff play an important role in the effort to reduce this violence. As in our Samoan culture, I would like to welcome Pastor Alice Unoi to the stage to lead us with a prayer. Na umvili le ofisa le leo, otefia malama lama pe fa angali na ngana Samoa po le ngana fa Peretania e fa foyeta to sauni ngana ya fiafi. 
is a fortuina with our hiling and man of Fabritania. On a lay mala malama, we mole and mala odia, Elisa Tonga and Samoa, your lay loud and fapena lava on the fight. So it is my greatest pleasure and joy to greet you and to say salofa to you in the most wonderful and beautiful name of Jesus Christ. He is the reason why I'm standing here before you tonight. My purpose is to bring a short word of encouragement from the Word of God and then followed by a prayer to officially open this very special occasion. So I will be reading to you from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, verses 11 to 14. It reads, Beware that you do not forget the Lord your God by keeping his commandments, his judgments, and his statutes, which I command you today, <clears throat> lest when you eat <coughs> excuse me, and are full and have built beautiful houses and dwell in them, and when your herds and your flocks multiply and your silver and your gold are multiplied and all that you have is multiplied, when your heart is lifted up and you forget the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Tonight is all about remembering. And there is such a day known as Remembrance Day, which is observed throughout the world. Remembrance Day was originally known as Armistice Day and was first observed in the year 1919 throughout the British Commonwealth. It was to commemorate a mystic agreement that ended the First World War on Monday, November 11, 1918 at 11 a.m. The purpose and the reason for this day is to remember the sacrifice countless people have made in service to their countries. It is a day to recall, to show respect, and to honor the memory of those who have died in line of duty for their country. It is a time to remember and to honor the memory of those who served, are currently serving, and those who have lost their lives to the cause. We are gathered here this evening for the very same reason. A book of remembrance was written on behalf of those who have faithfully carried out their duties, who have consistently served with their utmost best in the police force. Despite the challenges, despite the oppositions, Despite interrogations and confrontations along the way, they did not waver and they did not grow weary in doing good, for they knew that in due season they will reap if they do not give up. Today, they will receive their awards. But did you know that God is also writing a book of remembrance for all of humanity? Whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, whether you want to accept it or not, God is writing a book of remembrance for every living person. And a day is coming just like today when that book will be opened and we will each receive our rewards for all we have done in our lifetime, whether good or bad. It is found in the book of Malachi, the last book of the Old Testament. Malachi 3, verses 16 to 18, it reads, then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord listened and heard them. So a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the Lord and who meditate on his name. They shall be mine, says the Lord, on the day I make them my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him. Then you shall again discern between the righteous and the wicked, between those who serve God and those who don't. So if there is a book of remembrance where our names must be found, it is God's book of remembrance. While we are recognized and celebrated here on earth because our name is written in our companies or our workplaces book of remembrance, we must do our utmost best to have our names written in God's book of remembrance because the rewards will not be on a yearly basis like now, but it will be eternal. Whether with Jesus in heaven, where there will be no more pain and no more tears forever, 
or with Satan in hell, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth forever. Remember the Lord your God while there is breath in you. Congratulations to all those who will be receiving their rewards today. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the opportunity to hear your word. You have declared that your word will not return void, but that it will accomplish the purpose and the reason why you sent it. I pray that your word will prosper in our hearts this evening. And as we celebrate the accomplishments of your servants this evening, those who will be receiving awards for their tireless services throughout this year, I pray that you will bless them and help them in all their good works to remember you. In your precious name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Australasia Council of Women and Policing Ilona Manulauti Ole amana ia ina ole sao te mai tai i au au nanga fa leo leo. Ele ngata i te mai tai a ole fa ta wa ina ole aya te tusa o ali i te mai tai le ne au au nanga a i mai se ole nga lo lue fa ta si ma pa anga s s male ma malu ole tu nu e fa ta ua le sao te tusa. Se tai mi ona to moli mawina leo nisi o te mai tai wa mana ia lo la to sao ta ua ile o nanga manga gwe nga fa leo leo fa pe nisi o lo o una ia malango lango malo si ia ilonga le sao o te mai tai ile nei mata fa yoi o se mita mita nga tele le nei mo sa moa e mai sel ta to malo Ile fataua o le sao te mai tai i so se matatia ma so se au au nanga. O se ngā luenga sa asa mai tau sanga i tele. A o le nei wa a mata la foia ta ta o le tau le nei. Ua tū la i mai i se tū langa manuia. E a befo i le fa aftai ma le fa malo i le tō tele o ali i ua ta tō ma futa. O lo o lango lango ma fa ata a ua. Le sao te mai tai tu tonu o le ngā luenga fa leo leo. Ai mai se fo i isi tu ai ngā ngā luenga e sao fa ngā tu tusa i ai. E tali tonu le manatu, o nisi o toa e le ngata i tu tonu o Samoa. Ai mai se fo i le pasifika, a wā ua la tau fa ta ua a ma noa tu tusa e au noa ma le fa sinu sinu lima po se ali'i po se te mai tai. I le nei wai tau malona ta avilinga, i le pale mai foe i le tofi pale mia o le tato malo. E le ngona ai le whaanga e tia, i le tūlanga ua au sia e te mai tai i te tonu o le nei au au nanga. O te tonu, a i ai a vanoa tutusa mō ngā luenga matuwhinga, e le i uwale se nuku po o se atunu, a i se a, Ona ua velo aso uma ona tangata, a li'i mata mai tai, ili ati nae mapu lenga lelei. 
I tu tonu ona mtanga ndwe ngole oleo, vali pui pui, maleto e fuata ina. Ua mai ta wina le si tia ole fai numero ta mai tai. E tu sai ma fa ma umanga ali ta tu mtanga ndwe nga ole a fa inga ole mtanga ndwe nga atoa. E iba spulu e iba selau spulu lima le ole fai nga ndwe nga. Ma ile numero e lua selau valu spulu lua ta mai tai. Ole na wina. E tolu spultasi paseni, ole mtanga adwenga atoa o te maita. Ile saofa inga ale pulenga, e iai sui komisina, komisina langolango, ma sui pule sili, e se fulu fa lona ofa inga. Ma ile numera, e to oono o te maita, o lona winga, e fa se fulu lua paseni, ole pulenga o te maita. E atangia i nei fa mau maunga le anga i pea i lunga o tau mafainga ta mai ta i tutonu o nei mi tanga adwenga. Fa malo le faio le faiva. Fa malo le lotu te tele. Sa nga i ane la ia o le tai yo o tau faiva alo filima. A wane ngata o lo tele nga adwenga ma lu i tau o lo fatari. Ma e mo o mi ai i lo tau adwenga. Vala awina. Ole nei afiafi ma le porkalame ua te oto, e momoliatu le whaamalo le komisina ma le pūlenga i le tofa wae. E whaatino ai le nei whaamoemoe, e le ngata i samo nei. A o i tū langi o le pasifika ma le atu asia, o e o le a moni mawina i la atou o le a whaamau whaailunga ina. E le nei afiafi i a te au le whaalo alo, E te tala aloa i ai, e nei pol kalame. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we gather to celebrate women and policing across our blue Pacific and the achievements of not only our award nominees, but all of the women and men across our police organizations. I understand the women of the Samoa Police Service and the Samoa Australia Police Partnership is celebrating the 22nd Australasian Conference of Women and Police Annual Excellence in Policing Awards through virtual technology. This is made possible by collaboration with the Pacific Faculty of, Pacific, of Policing and in conjunction with the Australian Federal Police International Command, who support over 250 people coming together at various locations across our Pacific to celebrate the achievements of women and men as part of the Australian Council of Women and Policing. As the first female Prime Minister of Samoa, and a strong advocate of gender equality. It is a pleasure to be amongst you all. Trailblazers of the Samoa Police, women leaders from regional and government agencies, as well as women leaders from the business community, to celebrate and commemorate the significant contribution of females in policing. The meaningful participation of women in law enforcement is indicative of changing mindsets in the roles of men and women in law enforcement, policing, and other occupations in general. For Samoa, we promote human rights approach to our sustainable development. Our commitment also to the rule of law and the principle of leaving no one behind can only be realized through gender equality and empowerment of women and girls. As such, we must continue to recognize the transformational contributions of women and girls in all facets of society. We must also recognize that while we are here to celebrate and commemorate the achievements of many, there is still much to do to have a full appreciation of gender equality in our communities and societies. 
I congratulate the Samoa police for its persistence to improve the representation of women. Looking at the workforce statistics, out of 915 employees of the Samoa police, 282 are women. That represents 30% of the workforce. Out of the 14 of the executive team, excluding the commissioner of police position, six are women. That represents 42 of the executive team. These are positive statistics indicating Samoa's move towards a progressive position. Such representation must form part of tonight's achievements from an agency perspective. Women in the Samoa police have come a long way and are continuing to demonstrate their vital contribution to policing in Samoa. I congratulate you all for your commitment and loyalty in serving the people of Samoa and in hosting this remarkable event. Tonight, let us celebrate the 22nd Australasia Conference of Women and Police Annual Excellence in Policing Awards and all the achievements of Samoan women thus far. I officially declare tonight's event open. Pastor.